Hello, the average movie goer here today, and um, I am going to be talking about my five favourite films of 2019, seeing as it was New Year's Day almost a week ago. Admittedly, this video is a little bit late. I should have done it a few days ago, but I'm just going to do it now. But anyway, uh, my fifth favourite film of 2019 was Dragon Ball Super Broly. Now, I'm not the biggest of anime fans, but I am a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. And um, I was really excited for this movie because I've never seen them at the cinema or anything. So I went to see it and um, uh, it's see, it's not like just a complete remake of the original Dragon Ball Broly movie. Even though there's a lot of similarities obviously. Because in this you have Frieza thrown into it. Um, uh, you've also got, they do a very different approach to Broly. And more of like a sympathetic approach to him. Instead of like this big just dumb raging monster is what they basically make him out to be in the original but in this it's a lot more sympathetic um uh, is the way they treat him basically and um uh, this movie at times is really funny um uh, there's jokes about like um uh, there's one pretty funny joke um uh, about Frieza if you watch the show it would be funny watch the actual movie it's not like and you've not seen any previous things to do with Dragon Ball Z, you won't find it very funny, but if you've watched the show and all that, you might find this scene very funny. Um, uh, and the fighting in this movie, seeing as it is a Dragon Ball Z movie, you have to talk about the fighting, and the fighting is excellent, and even though, and at the end, um, uh, I'm not going to go into spoilers or anything, this is a spoiler-free um, mini-review, seeing as I'm doing my five favourite movies of the year, um, uh, the last fight is... Um, uh, both really awesome and really cheesy because in the background in the music it's just chanting the names of the characters and there's just guitar riffs and it's just ugh. but it's so awesome so anyway i'm gonna move on to my fourth favorite film of uh 2019 and that was rocket man and um uh, i actually really like some of elton john's music and um uh, i was really excited for this film and Taron Egerton, he was playing Elton John, and I think the best part of the film is Taron Egerton as Elton John. He is really fantastic as him as this. Sometimes like he's got to be really shy and as just normal Reginald Dwight, because apparently that was his real name. I did not know that going into it. Then he's got to be the actual Elton John during concerts, and he just does it so well. And um, uh, his voice is fantastic, and the musical numbers are just a joy to watch. And unlike um, Bohemian Rhapsody, this film is not afraid to like get dark and it does not shy away from his alcohol addictions, drug addictions, um, uh, basically all the horrible stuff he was. He was a sex addict as well. Um, uh, it is not afraid to shy away from uh, the darker side of his life. Um, uh, and Bohemian Rhapsody shied away from that quite a lot because they wanted to do like the fist in the air, Freddie Mercury thing. But, um, uh, yeah, overall, fantastic film. Moving on to number three is um, uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. This is just another fun Marvel movie, basically. Um, uh, Tom Holland's fantastic, as always. Jake Gyllenhaal's a nice addition as Mysterio. Samuel Jackson's great, as always. Everyone in the movie's great. Ned's really funny. Some of the action is really cool, and I think this movie's a lot more enjoyable to watch than um, Homecoming, even though Homecoming still really good. Um, I have a lot more fun watching Far From Home than I do with Homecoming, because eventually, with Homecoming, there are just moments in it where I get a little bored, but in this, um, uh, it just doesn't really stop, and it's always entertaining for me personally. Still love Homecoming. The only problem is um, uh, some of the stuff, like the main MacGuffin um, uh, with um, uh, Tony's glasses, um, I thought it was a little, eh, like how he was um not always right, but um he's sure that these glasses belong to you. You know, the first thing he does is almost kill um uh, his entire class basically. Eh, so like, don't really know much about that, but um also the post credits to this film, mind blowing. So overall, another really fun Marvel movie, and then my second favorite film of the year, twenty nineteen. John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. Now, I love John Wick. Keanu Reeves is such a fantastic actor. I mean, and especially with um, uh, his martial arts, because um, uh, the stunts he does, and he's just not afraid 
to get involved, unlike most actors who usually use a stunt double or something. So because of them using a stunt double, they might have to do lots of jump cuts, shaky cam, all that kind of stuff, and it's not very enjoyable. Whilst with Keanu Reeves, because he's actually doing his own stunts, um, you get all these nice wide takes, you get, you actually see Keanu Reeves doing what he's doing, like he is dangling off of a horse, then pretending to shoot a guy on a motorcycle, that's really happening, and that's what makes it enjoyable, basically. And there are some excellent action sequences, the, uh, one of the opening scenes in the library, fantastic, the antique store fight is probably my, one of my favourite fights in the movie, then you also get the, um, uh, the scene with the horse, that's also a pretty good scene. And then you've my my five my favorite scene probably in um uh, the movie is the one halfway through it with that fight in Casablanca and then the two dogs just ripping everyone apart. And um well, you get stuff like um the motorcycle chase where it opens up on that um just uncut thirty second tracking shot and you just think how on earth did they film this? And story-wise, I mean, it's a John Wick movie. You don't really go see it for the story, but I think Keanu Reeves gives his best performance. Halle Berry, um, uh, she's a nice addition to it, as well as Ian McShane is great as always. And um, uh, there's this new character called The Abjudicator, and um, uh, she's just a villain who you want to see John Wick just shoot right in the face. But at the same time, she kind of has her points as to why she wants to kill him, seen as... I mean, spoilers if you haven't seen John Wick 2, but he does kill the guy on Hotel Grounds. So, and that's kind of illegal in the John Wick universe. So it makes sense that he, she does want to kill him. But then again, you still want to see John Wick put a bullet in her face or put a pencil in her head or something. <laughs> um, uh, like that. So anyway, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, got a little bit of a cough there. My favourite film of 2019, Avengers Endgame. And this movie is a masterpiece. That's all you need to know. This movie's a masterpiece. The, where you're talking about the final battle, the um uh, conclusion of our main characters, um uh, it's fun whilst also being kind of dark, and um uh, like I say, the final battle, the portal sequence is no scene, um in the future is ever gonna top that portal sequence, like nothing's just gonna top it. So anyway, those are my favorite movies of twenty nineteen.